Yennefer's suspicions proved true. Ciri had appeared in Skellige. She'd arrived from another world together with a masked mage. She and the mage had fought the wild hunt before fleeing through portals that carried them to Velen. There, one trail ended, another began. A good time later, the wild hunt had reappeared on Hindusfjall, meaning Ciri, too, might have returned to Skellige. Greetings, Yen. Good thing you're here. The frostbite was starting to set in. You should have dressed warmer. <laughs> Next you'll be pinning mittens to my coat. Can we go? Yeah. Quite a few years since I was last on Hindisfjall. But if I remember correctly, Lofoten should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Quick, hunt. The burly sprouted whiskers. Yet in the brine they laugh. Leaf, and me, son of Eric, and on perished in court. <sighs> Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So? And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. We're looking for a young woman, name of Ciri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I've buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Ciri. Has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes, yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before... Before it all, she was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. This Craven you mention, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to... You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the Elders wrong only if he killed Morkvag. And thus regain his honor. And his name. Trial by ordeal. Very Skelligan. I do not mock your lores. Please also respect ours. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Martin Freyr is patient. Beg your pardon. But she brooks no insult.
So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. You can't help me track him, so I don't see any reason for you to go down there. You're right. Besides, trudging through mud in these hills would be murder. Fine. See you later then. Don't get hurt. Remember, I need you if I'm to find Siri. Oh, come. I was just teasing. Fool. I need you. Period. Better? Mm. Better. Light prints. Craven trod carefully. Looks like Morkvar got bored of sneaking around, and attacked. Craven was injured, started running. Craven's blood. Craven's blood. lead to the well. Guess Craven didn't want to be eaten, preferred to drown. Roots, so I'm right under you. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt! You scared me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Ugh, putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. 
We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk, even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. All the more reason to get it over with before they realize what's happening. Let's get to work. Selene, Selene, Dufrain. Selene, Selene, Davidar. of Lofferton. No, I... We're looking for Ciri. Ashen hair, green eyes. Have you seen her? She's... She's... me! I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No. Speak! <laughs> Speak! She, she fell oh, almost down! <laughs> Ziri. Zirel. Can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake, and I thought you'd... Where... where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But... how'd I... what? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. Help... help me stand. I... I don't... I don't think you should... 
Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. What? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. I'm sorry, but I must get to Drown Dead Rock as fast as possible. I shan't force you to stay. But the rock's a ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skjall can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. That man in the mask, he's from afar, isn't he? Oh, yes. From very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? Surprised? Been sitting in this fish puddle me whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me.